Good morning, guys. Hey, uh, I'm doing a follow-up on yesterday's uh, first ride. Uh, the seat post issue, uh, I think I've got it pretty much squared away. I was talking to another viewer, and he says, you just got to finesse that tightness just right to get it in there. But if I put that ribbed uh, sleeve in, uh, then I know, and I'm going to the seat post in a different seat anyway, so uh, that goes without saying. Um, I think every e-bike in, in, on market uh, has to change out the seat post and the, the seat because the stock seat are like sitting on a brick. So anyway, uh, this morning, I decided I was going to go ahead and uh, do the flat out process, which I talked about in part one of this video, and uh, the, the little valve uh, thing they supply, a little plastic thing, was not enough. They had those those Schrader valves or whichever valve they have in these tires uh, really in there tight. So I had to go down and get a metal uh, valve removal tool and then I was able to do the flat out and I did that this morning. Um, no issues with that at all, no problems. Uh, the front tire tried to unbead a little bit. Uh, I did have the bike upside down. Now the rear tire didn't break bead at all but uh, I had to let the air back out of the front tire, uh, get the bead set on the tire better, and then it was no problem at all. And set it to 25 pounds, and we're all good to go. Uh, the next thing is I haven't changed out the tire size. I want to change that out, but I, I, I've got to have the, the online manual in front of me to be able to change that tire size. And any of you notice that you're... Uh, miles per hour or odometer a speedometer is uh is incorrect set your tire size to 22 and that should take care of the problem uh other than that uh this bike is now performing extremely well i'm very pleased uh also yesterday when i got on the highway and that's the first time i ever rode a highway highway uh, any distance and uh, i noticed i didn't put the side mirror on the bike when i did the uh install so i did that Yesterday, I got the side mirror on. Now I'm happy I can see what's going on because it, it was freaking me out up there because there's two uh, changes to some major highways that cross over the bike lane. So that got a little hairy. But other than that, it was cool. So anyway, we're going to continue our ride and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Hey guys, we're going to wrap this one up uh, with some minor adjustments and stuff like that. This bike turned out to be really, really a very nice bike. Now, the derailleur problem was an out of adjustment uh, to where it wouldn't line up. The gear wouldn't line up with the uh, the 14 or 11. Yeah, the 14 gear, which is your fastest gear. It wouldn't line up. It was off. So once I adjusted that, it fell into place. There was no parts that came off like I thought yesterday. Uh, that worked out really well. The seat post has stayed. And that uh, advice I got from that YouTube guy really helped me out a lot. So what we're going to do now, we've got about 10 miles on this one. And <laughs> I haven't even lost a bar yet. <laughs> uh, but it is, it is really cool. I've got 30 miles on the bike so far. And uh, I'm really getting to like it a lot. Um, it's just getting their quality control issues taken care of. Now, I shouldn't have to do that. Uh, quality control is on them. But uh, like I said, with the packaging, uh, that, was, that was really bad. And then the, now the derailleur issue could have been a shipping issue. I don't know, but uh, I've got that all worked out now. Uh, the seat post thing, I still don't understand the neoprene sleeve. Uh, it definitely is 33.9 uh, ID. So 
Uh, I did mic that out and it all worked out. Now, again, I'm gonna have to change the seat post out. I wanna go to a suspension seat post. And I think all the e-bikes are like that. And also the stock saddle is like sitting on a brick. Uh, but other than that, uh, man, I'm liking this bike now. It's just getting used to it. Uh, it's a lot faster. Again, I'm gonna change it to a five PAS system instead of a three PAS system. Uh, it's just getting into that menu is, is kind of a pain uh, but once I get that all figured out I'll do that and then to adjust the speedometer uh, for any of you that have g-forces get up on the wheel size one and it's in their online manual which I don't like they should put in a hard copy manual so you can lay it out there with you when you're working on the scoot uh, that just doesn't make any sense but hey I don't know what they're doing but anyway uh, get to that menu item where it shows tire size and take it uh i think it could be set at 26 take it to 22 and that should just about uh calibrate the um speedometer to your cell phone apps and stuff like that because i'm running about a half after 10 miles i am a half a mile ahead of what it says it is or something like that i don't know what it is now, something like that so anyway, guys, hey, um, we're going to get out of here. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining us out here today. We'll see you on the next one.